Hey Ray, I'm back. I brought you something. Oh, hey Phil, what, what'd you get me? Himalayan harmonica. How'd the job hunt go? Uh, you know, I tried the Chinese place across the street, but uh, there was a bit of a language barrier between my one word of Chinese and his zero words of English. Look, man, I felt bad for the old homeless orphan thing you had going on, but I can't continue to just support you. I mean, you got to start pulling your weight around here. Well, I answer your phone calls like a secretary. Maybe you should start paying me like one. I specifically told you not to answer my calls. Is that why I never have any messages? Oh my god. Uh, by the way, this guy named Thomas called you? Uh, I told him you'd call him later. Thomas? From the San Diego Zoo, Thomas? Oh, no. Oh, this is bad. All right. Pack up everything you have. Uh, we have five minutes, and we're never going to see this place again. Probably this town, maybe this state, maybe your family. Oh, sorry. Uh, you have five minutes. We're gone. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> Calm down. Uh, I just remembered it was actually your cousin, Thomas. Cousin Tomas? And it's not a good thing, but it's not as bad. Whew. Well, I'm gonna hit the hay. I've been chasing yetis for three weeks. I am exhausted. Um, so, yeah, you gotta start pulling your weight around here. And beware the snake of Decalepolis. It's got enough venom to kill an entire village families. Hello? Have you considered my offer? I'm willing to double it. Double it to what? To double the money. Now is this Phil of Phil's mythical beasts or is this his secretary again? Uh, this is Ray, actually, of, uh, Ray's Exotic Animals. <laughs> All right. Well, maybe you can help me get what I'm looking for. Uh, here at Ray's Exotic Animals, I can get you anything zoological, mythological, or pathological. <laughs> what can I get for you? Oh, nothing too hard to find. Just a jackalope. A jackalope, huh? Is that Thomas? Uh, I'll call you right back. <laughs> no? What the hell, man? Uh, okay, okay, I know you told me not to talk to Thomas, but I talked to Thomas. They call him Krampus because he dresses up like Santa and he eats people like some type of carnivorous, disturbing beast of a Christmas chupacabra. He's offering 20 grand. <laughs> That's insane. I'm not helping you. And I don't know how you're gonna do it without me, so. And by the way, it, it's strictly against mythical code number 166 to work with him, to do business with him, to do anything with that psychopath. <laughs> you know what, find them. I'll do it by myself. How have you not died of natural selection? Glad you decided to do business, kid. Here's money. <laughs> now, when do I get my jackalope? Uh, Friday? What you mean Thursday? Thursday. Is Got it. it. Wednesday it is. <laughs> I can't get you a jackalope by Wednesday. Then you give me back my money. You know what? <laughs> what I meant to say was that uh, I can get you a jackalope by Tuesday. What a pro. Sweet. 
Wait, wait, wait. Where are you going? I was, I was gonna leave. Yeah, I'll sit back down. This is a great movie. Romantic comedy. Got elements of Stockholm Syndrome throughout. It reminds me of my third wife. You know the thing about my third wife? Well, that's mildly upsetting. We got him. No talking! Where'd you find a jackalope in three days? I improvised. You sold Thomas a fake jackalope? Not fake. Realistic. <laughs> He's going to kill you and eat you dressed as Santa. Oh my God, what are you talking about? He's never gonna find out. It's not like he's gonna call the house. <laughs> Answering secretary. Hello? Look, kid, I know this isn't a real jackalope. What? <laughs> what are you talking about? Do you even know who I am? What am I supposed to do with a simple bunny rabbit? I mean, it was the biggest one they had. <laughs> I trusted you. We watched a movie together. We shared animal crackers. You have two days to get me a jackalope, or else. Or else what? Or else I will find you, and I will bob catch you. Bobcat? Oh, bobcatting? That's one of the most brutal ways to die, kid. Basically, he's gonna hurl fresh meat at you until bobcats are lured in by the bloody presence. Just devour you. You're as good as Bobcat me. You, you gotta help me. Please, you have to help me. You have to help There's me. There's nothing <laughs> I can do. I'm not gonna lose my place in the mythical society for this. Like, Okay, he challenged me to a Bobcat battle, not you. So I don't think the mythical code society would just call the house and fire you right now on the spot. What a coincidence. <laughs> Get out. What? Get out. No. Pack the four or five things you own in this apartment and get out and don't ever come back. I'm tired of your selfishness and your laziness and your lying and your trickery. I'm tired of it in my house and I'm tired of taking care of you. Get out. Fine. You will. Is this the bro that broke 166? Yeah, bro. Ah! What the? Where, where am I? What's... Bro, you're in Sigma Delta Zeta. The most prestigious bro fraternity on all the zoo campus. Bro. What? You broke into Mythical Code 166 when you did business with Thomas. Now you must face the frat king. What? What are you talking about? You've given us no choice. You must do what nobody's been able to do before. Defeat Thomas in a bobcat showdown. And on that attempt, will absolve you of all your crimes against the society of mythical creatures. Bros, prepare the meatballs. Okay. Bro. 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 Ray, channel your inner frat legend. You made it. You made it? I made it.
Oh my god, he guys, I made it. Bro, bro, he made it. Bro, bro, bro. He made it. Oh my god. You know, yeah. some of these frat guys seem kind of young. Bro, bro. Yeah, I had to cut the age limit. I was the only member. Ah, oh, that makes sense. Oh I'm sorry for everything. This is the biggest mess I've ever made, and I'm finally gonna clean something up. Ray of Ray's exotic game. The odds are still against you, but you've done better than anybody I've ever trained. Go to the showdown. So, where's my jackalope? I got your jackalope, Thomas. It's, uh... Where did I put it? Oh, here it is. It's right here! Boy. No, wait, 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 wait. Thomas, I have your jackalope. Hand it over, hand it over. Phil, what, what are you doing here? I read your letter. I couldn't let you do this alone. With the blood of the jackalope, I will finally be able to transcend my human flesh and attain my ultimate Krampus form. <laughs> wow, Thomas really was a mythical creature. I am horrible at this. <laughs> look, 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 man, I just... You're my best friend in the entire world. And I just want you to know that when we get back, I promise I'm gonna get a job. <laughs> That's all I wanted, Street Red. <laughs> Where'd you get a jackalope? I didn't. Oh, 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 that's not okay. Oh, that, oh. Uh, alright, we need to get out of here. <laughs> Why? Afraid of some bobcats? <laughs> no, police, we just murdered somebody. Nah, come on, we're fine! Uh, you know, the frat king told me that once we defeated Thomas, I've made amends, so. Plus, he's not even human. Oh my god. What? That means we just broke mythical code number one. Never kill a mythical creature. Fudge. Oh. Run! Run! Run. of an antelope but some say they're fast and some say they're slow i've heard they're big i've heard they're small seems like no one can never agree it's almost like they don't exist at all <laughs>